Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to find your mods folder in Minecraft. We're going to be going over exactly how to do that. And most likely you found this video because you're having trouble with mods, like Minecraft's crashing because you've installed mods. I'm also going to give you some tips that you could try to troubleshoot those mods and get them working moving forward. However, I am going to show you how to get your mods folder, how to find your mods folder first. But even before that, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server quickly and easily. Literally one click setup of your modded server. So if you want a modded Minecraft server at Apex, it's one click setup and there's one click setup of mod packs and so many different types of server. They also have 24 hours, seven day a week support to help you out and make sure that you are getting the most out of your Minecraft server. We actually love Apex so much we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible server. Now, also, I do want to mention that we do have an incredible video on the top five best mods of all time for Minecraft. Now, not all these are the most recent version or anything like that, because guess what? That doesn't matter when you're talking about the best mods of all time, and that is linked in the description down below. There's some pretty awesome ones in here. But nevertheless, how do you find your mods folder? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it without using Minecraft at all. So we need to start on our desktop here, just an empty desktop, and then we want to click on the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and search for Run, R-U-N. We then have this run app here. So go ahead and click on that run app. And then in this app, you want to type percent sign, app data, percent sign. So percent sign, app data, percent sign, exactly like that. And then hit enter. That will then open up your roaming folder here where you'll find a dot Minecraft folder. Now, this is where you'll find your mods folder. Right here it is. Now, mine doesn't have any mods in it, but that's where your mods folder is at. It's in your roaming dot Minecraft folder and then mods right there. Now, if you don't have a mods folder, that means... Well, it's just not working correctly. You've never installed Forge or Fabric or any of the mods folders out there that install, you know, a mods folder with it. So as you can see, we have a mods folder because I've installed Forge before, and there it is. Now, if you delete this, if you don't have any mods in it, when Forge opens back up, it will recreate mods there. Now, we do have an in-depth Forge tutorial in the description down below. So if you want to see how to get Minecraft mods and stuff like that, this tutorial is kept up to date. It goes over everything. It's in the description. But what if you have issues? Well, the first reason you usually have issues running new mods in Minecraft is you might have old mods from previous versions. So make sure that you delete all of your old mods or at least move them to a separate folder. Move them out of the way of any mods you want to run in the most current version of Minecraft. Now some people do this by actually going through and setting up different folders like the map of 1.16.2, 1.12.2, 1.10, something like that, and then moving them around as they play on these different versions and get everything set up. So that is an option that you do have for your mods folder, but most likely if you're having an issue with mods and you just updated a new version, it's because the old mods aren't updated. So get rid of those old mods in the mods folder here by moving them to another folder and then just leave the mods for the current version you're trying to play Forge or modded Minecraft on, and then it will work. On top of that, you may need Java, right? So we do have in the description down below our in-depth Java tutorial. This is how to get Java 4 and nothing else but Minecraft mods. So you do need this in order to run Minecraft mods. It's a simple three-step process, and it should set you up good to go. However, if you're still having issues, you could try to run the jar fix. However, most likely Java's gonna fix it for you if it is a Java issue. Both of those links are in the description down below, and they have helped millions and millions and millions of people get Java set up correctly for Minecraft mods. So, nevertheless, those are kind of the two easy troubleshooting ways. The last way is uh, something that's a lot of trial and error, and it might be that the version that you're using of your mod isn't compatible with the specific version of Forge. Not like the Minecraft version, but like that specific version of Forge. So you could try to use an older version or maybe a newer version of Forge, depending on, you know, if you're not using the newest version, try that one first. And then you could try older versions of Forge on the Forge website to be able to see if you could get that set up. Now, how do you find that? Well, you go to our Forge tutorial in the description down below, scroll down, click on the green download Forge button. And then when you're here, you can see all the old versions of Forge by clicking see all versions. You can see when they released, all that stuff, it is all here. All the way back to Minecraft 1.1, by the way, is listed here with all of those, oh, accidentally clicked the wrong button, with all of those versions listed down here, right like so. So that is what you can do. That is how you can find the most recent version or the, you know, 
test older versions of Forge with the mod you have. Most likely, though, it's going to be on the same version, right? So it'll be 1.16.2, for example, but it might be this version down here that works for your particular mod. But yeah, that is a lot of trial and error, and a lot of times it's not worth it. Last but not least, you can reach out to the mod developer, a lot of times via comments on Curse Forge or via their discords for specific help with that particular mod. That can help out a lot of times as well. But there you have it. That is how you can find your mods folder. It's very simple and very easy. Again, you just want to click the little Windows icon in the top left or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in run, and then have this run app here. And then in this run app, type percent sign, app data percent sign, so percent, app data percent, exactly like that right there and then go ahead and click OK and then you'll find your dot Minecraft folder here right here so dot Minecraft and then you'll find your mods folder in here if you do have one you can then delete mods open up Minecraft all that stuff without mods and you'll be good to go but nonetheless thank you all so, so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week and we have an incredible Minecraft server called play.breakdowncraft.com on that server you will find greed protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests in a player based economy and aquatic survival having an amazing community inside shop based economy we also have an amazing skyblock server with OP enchants 1.8 PVP custom islands and so much more and then factions is actually 100% custom it's truly incredible the custom factions menu you 10 player small team based factions it's incredible so come play with this play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP I cannot wait to see you online nevertheless my name is Nick I hope you enjoy your new way to troubleshoot mods and enjoy now that you know how to easily get to your mods folder and I'm out peace